Yo guys, come join my Discord. The link is on the screen and in the description. We have tons of things to do. You can chat with me, make new friends, post memes, advertise your links, and much more. Come on down and join, guys. Hey, what's going on, guys? Fusion here, and welcome to an OBS Studio tutorial. Now, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to actually set up a stream with OBS Studio. Now, uh, we're gonna hop straight into it. Just make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss a new video or stream by me. Alright guys, so once you first download OBS Studio, I'll leave a link down in the description and you open it up. It should look something like this. Uh, you just want to make it full screen, go up to File, Settings, and uh, in here in general, change your theme to dark because the original is going to look something like this and it just looks horrible. So I leave mine on dark and then just click apply. I'm just going to be showing you guys all the best stream settings. So let's go into stream and the first thing you guys want to do, this is the most important thing, is um, select your stream type. You want to just go to streaming services and then the service, this is, you know, if you're streaming to Twitch, YouTube. So just for this example, I'm going to put it as YouTube and then select primary YouTube server and then for your stream key uh, on YouTube what you're gonna want to do is go to your live dashboard and then scroll down to the bottom and it will be there and for twitch you're gonna want to go to your dashboard and uh, I can't remember off the top of my head but you can look it up and once you get this actual key you just want to type it in or paste it uh, and then once you get it all you want to do is click apply and then uh, you're done here now all this does is just make sure that obs can link to twitch or youtube and send the signal over now you want to go to output so at the top you want to make sure you switch it to advanced and now you see it looks different you want to come down to encoder now uh, it's going to be different for everybody if you have an amd graphics card you want to select you know amd if you have a nvidia graphics card you want to select nvenc.264 and uh, then you want to leave that now i recommend rescaling your output so check rescale output and just select 1280 by 720 because if you stream on 1080 it's going to lag your computer a lot more now you want to come down to rate control. Now what this means is CBR is constant bit rate and uh, what bit rate is is it's just like the quality of the video or the stream and uh, the higher the number you go the more quality it's going to be. So you can either have it constantly being at that number or varying. Uh, so I leave mine usually on constant bit rate and uh, I'd recommend putting it somewhere between 3000 to 5000. So for this tutorial I'm just going to be doing something like 3,500. This also depends on your internet. If you have like blazing fast internet, I'd recommend doing something like 5,000. Uh, but if you have a little bit slower, I'd go somewhere in 3,000. Keyframe intervals. Uh, people usually put this on two, so just put in two. Presets. I would just leave it on default. Profile. I'd put it on high. Level. Leave it on auto. Use two pass encoding. Turn it off. And then you're good for this page. All you want to do is just click apply. Now you want to come down to audio. Uh, this just has to do with your mic so just go up to sample rate and set it to 48 or 41 depending on what type of mic you have you can figure that out by uh, going into your mic properties in uh, the sound settings and then you want to select your desktop audio device you just want to set default and if you have like music or something you can set all that up but as long as you have your mic selected and your desktop audio right here then you'll be fine you want to click apply and then move on to the video tab. Now under here, you want to make sure your base canvas is whatever your monitor is. Mine is a 1920 by 1080, so I'm going to leave that there. And then your scaled resolution is what you want it to be scaled down to for less lag. I have mine on 1280 by 720, as you can see in here, you can set it to. Now downscale filter. I'm not too sure what this does. All I know is that bilinear is the slowest and uh, Lanskos is the the you know fastest or best uh, I usually leave mine on the middle one or the last one it depends on your PC if you have a bad PC I'd leave it on the middle 
good PC, I'd put it on the end. Now your FPS values, always just keep this on 30. I wouldn't do any lower or any higher because if you stream on 60 FPS, that's gonna take so much internet and you're probably gonna get lag. So click apply. And then uh, if you come over to the advanced tab, this is the last thing that uh, you really have to do here is the process priority all this means is how much like priority how much obs is prioritized over other things on your computer if you have like a really good computer i'd put it to above normal uh if you have like a, a just you know a decent to bad computer i'd just leave it on uh normal uh, I wouldn't go below normal or idle because that's gonna make your stream horrible. And, uh, yeah, guys, um, this is the settings out of the way. I'll quickly show you guys how to set up some scenes. I'm not gonna go super in-depth, but if you guys want a whole how to make, you know, scenes video, I'll show you guys that as well. So, you just wanna exit out of the settings, make sure you apply and everything. Come down here to scene. Now, you can see we have one scene here. I'm just gonna right-click on this and rename it and I'm gonna rename it to stream and now uh, under the stream you want to go into your sources your sources is everything that's you know the overlay the gameplay all that so I'm just gonna add my first source so let's go to add I'm gonna add a video capture device and uh, I'm gonna rename this Elgato because this is how you stream with an Elgato for your Xbox or PlayStation or something. And now you can see, boom, it's like magic. Uh, now my Xbox is on here. I'm loading up some Fortnite. So now you want to come down to your sources again. Let's get in an overlay. So um, I can show you guys in another video if you want to know how to make an overlay. But uh, if you don't have an overlay, just skip over this part. Or, uh, you know, watch if you have it. Go to Add Image. I'm going to rename this to overlay and then browse for your image file. And once you found your overlay in your computer, you just want to click open and then it should come in. You just want to drag this little red uh, circle down until it completely pops into place. And boom, now you have your overlay up here and it will stay there for your whole stream. And if you're going to do a webcam, you want to come down to add and video capture device and name it to, you know, something like cam or something. And just go under device, select your webcam and uh, then you just want to do just like you do anything else drag it into place and uh, fix it how you want it and this is basically how you can have a completely basic stream you know your your game your overlay uh, if you want to learn how to do you know putting the chat on the stream and doing all that stuff I'll be making tons of videos on that stuff but um, yeah this is how to stream with OBS studio I hope this helped you guys I know this is a very basic tutorial but this is just how to get started you know uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos so make sure you guys leave a like subscribe turn on post notifications this has been Fusion I'll see you guys next time Start